is Kara Colony. I am from Troop 319 and uh, that's in Edmonds, Washington. I'm going to be showing you how to do a square lashing. So the reasons you would want to be using a square lashing is um, to connect two poles together so that you form right angles, hence the square lashing. So the square lashing starts and ends with a clove hitch. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is make a clove hitch. And then the next thing you want to make sure that you do is um, wherever the two poles are going to intersect and be touching each other, you want the clove hitch to be snug next to that intersection so that when you start wrapping, um, it'll just be a tighter wrap. So I actually switched the um, position of my poles. I brought the one that was underneath on top. Um, but I made my clove hitch and I also recommend just bunching up your rope in an organized manner because you're going to have to be moving it in between and everywhere around the poles and it'll just be easier to manage. Um, but after this step, you're going to then twist the short end of your rope um, that you should have left after you've done the clove hitch. And to do that, it's really simple. You literally just twist like this. And all that's gonna do is um, pretty much take care of that short end of your rope for you. And it adds more traction around the poles within the lashing itself. So it'll just hold the lashing tighter and better. After you've done your twisties and you have your um, clove hitch and your poles are all ready in position um, you're again then going to start wrapping and to start wrapping you just follow a simple pattern of under over under over and what that looks like is um, you're going to go underneath this part of the pole this section you can think of the poles um, in four different sections now um, so under this first section, you're going to go under and then you're going to alternate. You're going to go over the next section, this part of the pole. And you want to make sure that you bring with you your um, little bundle of rope. And then you're going to go under again. So after you have done three wraps, as you can see, there are three different layers um, of rope all snug next to each other. Then you're going to move on to frapping. And frapping is different from wrapping um, because it is going between the poles. Um, you can think of it when you're looking at the poles more at this angle, you're going to see um, the rope going more horizontal, um, parallel to the pole. Then you're going to want to do two fraps around the wraps. Okay, so after you're done, now you're going to finish it off with a clove hitch. Um, square lashings begin and end with a clove hitch. So I'm going to do that. It doesn't really matter the placement um, of the clove hitch as long as it is close to where you ended the frapping and you have at least two fraps. And then there you have it, your square lashing.